What's going on everyone and welcome back to Haruki Murakami Art. In today's video I would like to talk about the controversy of South of the Border, West of the Sun. If you have watched my top 5 Murakami ranking, you may have already heard that this book was heavily discussed in German media. The story behind this controversy is a bit more extensive, so grab your tea and enjoy today's short documentary. March 1988. You are watching ZDF, which is a German public service television. The audience is welcomed by Marcel reich a famous Polish-born German literary critic who is regarded as one of the most influential literary critics in the field of German literature and is called the Pope of Literature. It is the first episode of Das Literarische Quartett. Ladies and gentlemen, he says, this is no talk show. What we are offering you are nothing more than words, words and words. 75 minutes of words and maybe thoughts. We will discuss books and novelists. We are talking about literature. It was the start of a very successful show which is hosted by four famous people. Reich Ranitzky, Helmut Karasek, Sigrid Löffler and Jürgen Busche. The fourth guest changed every episode, but the show was successful throughout the years. The basic concept of the program came from Reich Ranitzky. He ended every episode with a Bertolt Brecht quote. The program lived essentially from the speeches of Reich Ranitzky, who also caused laughter in the audience with his sometimes choleric manner and his often devastating slating. In an investigation, Miriam Kuhl determined that Reich Ranitzky had 50% of the speaking time. Löffler received 30%, Karasek 20% and the respective guest only 10%. In contrast to conventional literary magazines, the Literary Quartet primarily presented the reading experiences of the critics instead of the most objective possible information, and this in a strongly apodictic form. The different opinions and the controversial discussion, mostly dominated by Reich Ranitzky, made the show particularly attractive to the audiences. Reich Ranitzky attached particular importance to clarity and clarity in the criticism. We will talk about books as we always do, he said, lovingly and a little meaningly, kindly and maybe a bit maliciously, but in any case very clearly and distinctly, because clarity is the courtesy of criticism and of critics. According to various sources, the literary quartet was seen by an average of 700,000 to 900,000 viewers. Individual episodes reached up to 1.5 million viewers. Having a book on the show often resulted in a sharp increase in sales, regardless of whether it was well or badly reviewed. A controversial discussion even turned out to be particularly sales-promoting. The show ran successful and the world turned as it always used to be. Until August 2000. On this day, our beloved novelist Haruki Murakami returns home from swimming. He opens his emails and is suddenly surprised as he reads the following. Mr. Murakami, did you know that your book, South of the Border, West of the Sun, caused an outrage in German television? Haruki is staggered. He has no idea what could have happened. He has also never heard of Reich Ranitzky or Sigrid Löffler. So let's step back for a few days. Haruki Murakami, gefährliche Geliebte. It's June 30. Das Literarische Quartett runs on TV as usual. Today's subject is a book by Japanese novelist Haruki Murakami, South of the Border, West of the Sun. As always, Sigrid Löffler, Marcel reich Ranitzky, Helmut Karasek and their changing guests sit down to discuss. After discussing several other books, we are 20 minutes into the show when reich Ranitzky switches to Murakami. As always, they talk about the plot until they start to share their personal opinions. When Sigrid Löffler rises to speak, the following happens. 
She says that she would like to ban this book from the show, as she personally thinks that this book is fast food, it's literal McDonald's. According to Loeffler, the used language is horrible, it has nothing to do with good literature and sounds more like a typical erotic story. She criticizes the filthy dialogues and Karasek reverses that he has no problem with these as they are used by Murakami just to represent the current style of talking as young people nowadays do. Reich Ranitsky replies with a sarcastic joke as he says that just moments before the show, when Löffler was still waiting in the makeup room, he said to Karasek that he expects Löffler to totally destroy the book in the show later. He says that he doesn't believe her that she does not like the book just because of language. He says that he thinks she hates it because of the erotic elements. Reich Ranitsky reminds her that every time they discuss a book with such elements, she finds a reason not to like it. And this is the moment when tensions begin to rise. As Reich Ranitsky says that Löffler can't bear the love between the characters, she returns with other examples for weak language. Reich Ranitsky attacks her again, blames her for being too prudish. Löffler returns that maybe he delights himself on the erotic because of his advanced age, but still she says that Murakami misses important elements to represent the love between the characters. While Reich Ranitsky still thinks that the female character of the book has an uncommon tenderness and shall be a good example for strong female characters, Löffler returns that this is just a toneless fantasy for men, resulting into scoffing Lauter. And that was the point that led Sigrid Löffler to leave the show after 12 years. She said, the show has become a wild spectacle. It has been exciting and entertaining for 12 years. Reich Ranitsky respected this bow for 12 years, but in the 13th year he overstretched the bow and broke it. She accused the Pope of Literature of a media killing spree, with reference to his conversation with other newspapers. I'm no longer available for a show that's all about making noise, she finally said and closed the chapter. Haruki Murakami himself was amazed when he found out that the critic named Löffler considered his novel to be fast food, among other things because of the undoubtedly quite direct sentence, I want to do her until her brain softened. He never wrote such a sentence. In the original it says, Nomisu ga tokero kurai, which roughly translates to, I wanted to her till her brain melts. That sounds less coarse and noticeably more poetic, even if the process as such probably amounts to the same thing. Murakami's novel was translated from Japanese into English and from there into German. Apparently, as in the well-known children's game Chinese Whispers, a process of multiple brutalizations happened. This does not reflect well on the publishing house and it has been translated later again. It's hard to imagine what could have become of South of the Border, West of the Sun, if the German translation were also translated into Danish and from there into Kitsuwahili and so on and so on. It's very likely, however, that Sigrid Löffler would have been more merciful in a translation that was true to the original. The dispute would have been less violent and maybe she would still be in the show. It is one of the most momentous misunderstandings in recent German cultural history. As for a final overall assessment of the affair, Haruki wrote, It takes a lot of time and money to translate. Actions born of hate or anger rarely bear good fruit. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of South of the Border and West of the Sun. It is among my favorites, so more videos will follow soon on this. Until then, please stay tuned, subscribe to not miss any of the upcoming videos, take good care of yourself and never stop reading. See you soon again on Haruki Murakami Art.